vlog is very messy, you guys will excuse me, but I just have to show things exactly as they are because this is how it looks like. So today is the first like real day after the holidays that people are like getting back to work and stuff and so it has been such a crazy day that I was just like I, I just couldn't do it with this day. I don't cry easily from getting like overwhelmed but I was overwhelmed to the point of just like frustration and it's just been like lack of sleep for weeks and really long hard work and intense and cleaning here and cleaning there and packing here and unpacking there and just just running around like crazy and it's just been a lot and so today what happened is that I wake up and there's this drilling and booming and then I discover that the reason that I've been like sniffling and sneezing is because there's mold in my house Ugh, I was so upset about it. I'm like, no wonder I don't feel well. Because I knew that it wasn't like a seasonal thing. I knew it wasn't allergies. In the beginning, I thought maybe it was because it was cold in the house or whatever. And then I'm like, when I leave the house, I don't feel this. Like, I don't feel like I'm sick or something. I feel like it's something else. And lo and behold, mold. And then the places where I told the landlord, like, Hi vlog, it's Oriel from the future interrupting because I have something very, very exciting to offer you guys today. I'm going to show you guys a clip and then after the clip we'll come back, I'll explain to you what it is and I'm so excited, so watch it. The restoration of a Jewish sovereignty in the land of Israel was an earth-shattering event. For Christians, it was a confirmation that God always keeps his covenantal promises. Today, we are blessed to see the modern miracle of the land of Israel playing out in our lives. On the occasion of Israel's 75th anniversary, 75 Christian leaders worldwide have lent their unique voices, sharing their personal faith experiences relating to Israel and their in-depth insight into Israel's history and spiritual significance to create a historical, one-of-a-kind, high-end coffee table book Israel the Miracle. Israel the Miracle's stunning imagery will fill your home with the hope of fulfilled promises and conversations about Israel. As a project of the Genesis 123 Foundation, all proceeds will go to bless Israelis of all backgrounds. Be part of Israel the Miracle and bring the land, the people, and the state of Israel into your heart and into your home. I have had the immense privilege of shooting the promo video for Israel the Miracle. When I was approached with the subject of helping Jonathan out of Genesis 123, I was really excited because I've literally never heard of a book like this. 75 Christian leaders, all of them talking about how Israel has affected their lives for the better and what God has done through it. And not only that, 100% of the proceeds of this book literally go to helping Israel, meaning soldiers, at youth risk, aliyah, so many different things. And I know this personally because I know Jonathan and I know that he literally will take this money and it will go all for that. And so to know that this huge endeavor has actually come to life, I think is beautiful and stunning. And so today, what is being offered to you guys is a discount on the Israel the Miracle book, a 10% discount. So if you go to the link below in the description, and uh, go there and write code ORIEL10, the code is ORIEL10, and I'll put this down here below, you'll get a 10% discount. I think this book is amazing. It's a conversation starter about Israel. It's beautiful, This the visuals are stunning as well, and it literally just fills your house with conversations about Israel, and it's an advocate for Israel as well. So you can get it for people as a, as a gift for the holidays. You can put it in your house. And again, the fact that 100% of the profits go to actually helping Jewish Israelis in Israel, I think is amazing. So again, go to the link below in the description. The code is ORIEL10. Get your discount, get it now, because this book is going to blow up. It's crazy amazing. And that's it. I'm happy to share this with you and back to the vlog. Hey, I think that that's a leak. He's like, no, I don't, I don't think it's a leak. You know, whatever, whatever. 
it's a leak. This is how it is in Akhlaot. The structures are so old, they're not built very well. And then I was like waiting for the internet guy to come and then I see that they deliver the things but they don't hook it up and so I have to hook it up. My house is still a mess. I still don't have a way to cook. I was so overstimulated. My younger sister has this thing if like she's like in a mood or whatever. She asks herself the question like, do you just need to press restart? Basically means like, do you just need to take a nap? Made dark the room and then just me and Buttercup just slept. And so that's what I did. Instead of working, instead of hooking up my internet, I'm just like, I just need to sleep. And I have to remind myself that like, sometimes this happens. These new beginnings are overwhelming. Everything combined was overwhelming. So I just have to chill, get the things done that are urgent for now, and do the rest later. So, updating the vlog. I didn't even have time to think about it because I was literally asked, I think, yesterday or two days ago basically to uh, interview a very very special woman a christian iranian evangelist who was persecuted for her faith and put in prison tortured and almost executed and by some miraculous way she made it out alive and so i'm going to interview her today on camera for israel today i don't know how to interview people like this especially not such special people as herself and so i need to be there at about two i'm gonna eat my sushi really quick i'm quite nervous to be honest because i've never done this i've never interviewed someone on camera and so i'm just hoping that it flows naturally like a conversation and that just good things come out of it so hopefully the results will be great i'll also share this interview when the link is available it'll probably be on israel today's youtube if you haven't subscribed to Real Israel Today YouTube's channel, please go and do it now. We're going to have great, amazing things there. The travel show that I host, produce, direct, and film is there also. And so go and check it out. Morning, everyone. So just sharing a bit of what today is. Today is Holocaust Memorial Day. Now, I'm actually a bit shocked to see like in some places in the world, people don't, they don't know what the Holocaust is. So the Holocaust commemorates the murder of over 6 million Jews. My family are Holocaust survivors and the generation of the Holocaust is basically dying out. Even though there's about 80,000 of them still in Israel, it's very rare. That's why a lot of people do what they call like Zikaron Basalon, which is uh, they'll bring a Holocaust survivor that's willing to tell their story and people just come to that people's house and they listen to the story and it's so important to preserve the memory of what happened so that it never happens again. So at 10 a.m. there's going to be a siren which I'm going to film for you guys and basically everywhere that you are in Israel when that siren happens you stand and you remember the people. had a, a ramming of a um, terrorist with a car right there. I'll put the footage up here for you guys, but you guys should know that this is uh, a very tense time. Very, very tense. Um, I went and stood at that very place with my friends. <laughs> It was very easy to see how people just start these fights over things. Yeah. <laughs> 
things like the tension is high anyways people are high strung and they just start fights over things and it really does make you think like should there be more freedom of speech should there be more um, opportunity for people to speak their mind on the street without basically being like threatened or beaten or for someone to tell them to shut up if you believe in free speech then that means that you have a right to say what you want and other people have the right to say what they want. And I think that it's a very, very tricky business in this country because there's just so many different opinions. We actually say uh, two Jews, three opinions. And so it's not an easy thing to know how to navigate. Happy Independence Day. I am near the Shulk. Um, this Independence Day is a bit mixed. I just came back from Yerashmuna, where we had basically like a, how do you say, like an Independence Day uh, meeting thing, like party with a whole bunch of believers. And now I'm back in the city. It's almost like 11 p.m. Do I really want to go out? And then my friends are like, Rosa, we're still outside, we're still partying. How Israel does Independence Day is that basically the parties start relatively late and they just go throughout the night and so you have places like the shuk that is like packed full of people flags everywhere like you can see flags there's music there's dancing independence day is a whole vibe it's the 75th one so i'm actually on my way to the municipality so as you guys can see they block certain streets that just yesterday there was a terror attack that a terrorist rammed into a group of people with his car and two seconds later we're celebrating you know but this is Israel that's the thing one second it's like this and one second it's like that I'm at Gansakel, which as you can see is just packed full of people and everyone just came with their flags, with their tents they opened a table, they're grilling up a storm, they brought out chairs, like people take it seriously, let me swivel you around and let you see. If you 
you're ever in Israel and you want to take part in Yom Atzmaut and you're like, well, I don't have a grill, I don't have stuff like that, you can actually buy a little grill that's like comes pre-made, it's in this tin thing, it has everything you need in it, it has the charcoal, has the things that help it flame up, and even has one of those fan thingies. And literally you can just get that, get some meat, whatever it is that you want to grill if you're vegetarian, and just come and bring your picnic to the park. You know, it's Israel's 75th birthday, and it's just so exciting. Whoa, people are playing, people are playing frisbee over my head. Especially with the tensions that are happening now, with the fight for democracy and all this, I think that you can really feel um, like the, the need to sort of breathe because a lot of what's been going on has been just really tough on everyone. And I think that when you can just pause and enjoy the fact that you're here and enjoying, it's great. אז מה אתה הכי אוהב בישראל? האנשים. מה, ככה כל יום עצמאות אתם פה? תגיד שלום ליוטיוב. איזה כיף. Literally, if someone start talking to them, they would literally just like offer you a plate. Like offer you a plate with meat. They'll put stuff for you. People here are very generous. They like conversation. They like to include you. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I've been discovering that some of you guys that actually know me personally have been watching the vlog and I had no idea. So let me know that you are here. Comment down below. Let me know. If you are new here, then welcome. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Comment down below. If you're not new here, then welcome back. And I'll see you guys in a vlog very soon.